Betty, and this is Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can we repeat it? Let's say to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Great job, kids. Now, to begin, we will start with a prayer. Now, can I see your prayer magnets? Yes! And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! Jesus is the best! So let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus! Hello kids, it's time to worship the Lord today, so why don't we all stand up? One, two, three! Yeah! Woo! Oh, we worship you every day, Jesus! Here we go! Every day, Jesus, I will praise you every day, Jesus! I will worship you every day, Jesus! I will love you every day, Jesus! Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to our God. 
And we love you with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi kids! I know you enjoyed our praise and worship time with Pastor Spam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pens. And once you have them all with you, can you help us, Tora, remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to Acts chapter 8, verses 39 to 40. Now kids, can you please get your Bibles and open it to Acts chapter 8, verses 39 to 40? And let's read. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more. And went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Asotus, and as he passed through, he preached the gospel to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. Wow! Amazing Bible story, right kids? So we have seen that the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip away and brought him to another place where he preached the gospel. Did you know, kids? What? that sometimes we will find ourselves being led by the Holy Spirit to share the gospel to some place or to someone. We have seen this many times as well in the Bible, just like in Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and Matthew chapter 4 verse 1, when Jesus returned from Jordan and was led by the Holy Spirit to the wilderness. Another wonderful truth that we can learn about this is in Romans 8 verse 14 where it says there that those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Wow! Now kids, can you follow Pastora in these very simple action words? Can we say, the Holy Spirit leads me? Can we do it again? Can we say, the Holy Spirit leads me? Now, can we do it the last time? Can we say, the Holy Spirit leads me? Very good job, kids. Indeed, the Holy Spirit guides us and leads us in everything that we do, especially if it is for the works of the kingdom of God. So right now, you know what time is it, right? It's our question and answer time. So please get your notebooks and, of course, your pens. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back in Children's Church, we can always give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So are you ready, kids? Great! Now let's go to our question number one. Who was carried by the Holy Spirit? Who was the man who was carried away by the Holy Spirit? Who was the man who was carried away by the Holy Spirit? You got that, kids? Great. Uh, now let's go to our question number two. True or false? According to Romans 8 verse 14, those being led by the Holy Spirit are the sons of God. True or false? According to Romans 8 verse 14, those who are being led by the Holy Spirit are the sons of God. You got that, kids? Awesome! So now let's go to our question number three. Fill in the blank. The Holy Spirit blanked me. The Holy Spirit blanked me. Got that? Great job, kids! So now let's go to our question number four, which is always our application for today. So kids, always remember that the Spirit of God 
will always lead us and guide us in doing good and great things for Jesus and for His kingdom. So I think that's it for our Bible story for today. And I hope you learned a lot. We'll see you again next time, kids! Hi, kids! This is Pastora Pat, and it's time for our Did You Know segment. Today, Pastora will be sharing with you three things that we need to know for more today's Bible story. So, kids, you know what to do, right? When Pastora says, did you know, you should say, What? That's right, you should say, What? So kids, did you know, What? That the e Ethiopian eunuch got water baptized immediately. That's right, after Philip helped the Ethiopian eunuch understand God's word, he was saved and he got water baptized. Wow, he got water baptized and he got saved all in the same day. Isn't it amazing, kids? That's right, the Ethiopian eunuch was so happy to follow Jesus that he immediately obeyed the first step of obedience to Jesus Christ. The E. Ethiopian eunuch got water baptized immediately. And kids, did you know? What? That the H. The Holy Spirit transported Philip to another place. Did you hear that, kids? The Holy Spirit helped Philip go to another place at once so that he could keep sharing Jesus to other people. Kids, always remember Mark 10, 27 teaches that anything is possible with God. The Holy Spirit transported Philip to another place. And kids, did you know? What? That P. Philip traveled to many places. That's right. Philip traveled to many places not to take vacation but to teach the good news. He taught others about Jesus Christ and how Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And because of what Philip did, many people got saved and followed Jesus. Philip traveled to many places. So kids, Let's have a game in order for us to remember all the three things that we need to know from our Bible story for today. Are you ready? Alright, I'm going to show you the clues and you're going to fill in the blanks, alright? Okay, for the first one, the... Got water baptized immediately. The... Got water baptized immediately. What was your answer? Good job, kids! The... Ethiopian eunuch got water baptized immediately. And for the second one, the... Transported Philip to another place. The... Transported Philip to another place. What was your answer? Good job, kids! The Holy Spirit transported Philip to another place. And for our last one... Traveled to many places. Traveled to many places. What was your answer? Good job, kids! Philip traveled to many places. So, I guess that's it for now for our Did You Know segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids! See you! Today, we are going to sing a song about Jesus being our friend. That's right! Is Jesus your friend? Me too! Jesus is my friend. Now, did you know that when we are sad, Jesus helps us? Well, what more when we are happy? Jesus rejoices also with us. Now, today, are you ready to sing the song with me? So come on, let's all stand up and let's sing the song together.
That's right. Our Jesus is our friend. And anything that we have, we always lay it before the Lord. That's right. So, that's it for our song for today. I hope that you've enjoyed that song. God bless! to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is Romans 6, 23. Repeat after me. Say Romans 6, 23. Very good. And the song goes something like this. For the wages of sin Of sin is death, but the 
Very good kids, did you enjoy that song? I did too. Well, that's it for a memory verse song today. This is Pastora Armira. See you again next time! Welcome back, kids! So I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed from our episode today. So right now, it's our prayer time. Do you still remember our three prayer requests? Yes! First, we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike, that God will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for your families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? Now, as for us, you know our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord. You will always be productive and you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So, are you ready to pray, kids? Yes! Great! Let's have our prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day and from all of the things that we have learned. Right now, we pray for our government and church leaders alike. That God, you will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Lord, we also pray for our families that you will always keep them safe and that you will always bless the work of the hands of our parents. And Lord, right now we pray for these wonderful kids that you will continuously give them the desire to read their Bibles every day, to pray and to worship, and that they will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of God. Lord, we also pray that you make them productive in everything that they do and that they will always become a blessing to the people around them. We love you so much, Lord, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So I think that's it, kids, for our Everyday Jesus today. And we'll see you again next time.